While watching this video, you will learn how to use the Virtual Dynamic Articulator in the TRIOS Design Studio application to adjust your design to ensure correct dynamic occlusion. Using the Virtual Articulator, you can check your design in dynamic occlusion, where the movements are guided by existing teeth. This is especially useful when designing posterior teeth. However, the Virtual Dynamic Articulator is also able to guide the articulation by your restoration design. This is beneficial on anterior cases. By enabling this option, you can check how your design of incisors and canines guides the articulation. Besides visualizing the dynamic articulation, the Virtual Articulator includes an instant adapt design, making it much simpler and faster to ensure good dynamic occlusion. The Dynamic Virtual Articulator can be accessed and used in the anatomy design step. To activate it, click on the articulator icon. The scans mounted in the articulator and occlusal plane will now be visible. The visibility of the articulator and occlusal plane can be adjusted for your convenience using the visibility sliders. The scans are placed in the articulator in a standard position, which can be modified by you to mirror the patient-specific situation. Do that with the help of the indicated control points. Scans can be moved in a full range of directions and angles. The distance of movement is displayed on screen. To run articulation movements, click on the Run Articulation Play button to have it done automatically or move the slider to do that manually. The Virtual Dynamic Articulator will run standard recommended movements for lateral otrusion, mediotrusion, and protrusion and retrusion. After performing that in one way or another, you can check the outcome of articulation movements. All the contact during the movements and occlusal obstacles on the design will be visible. You can use the Adapt Design button to have the design automatically adapted to dynamic occlusion. This can also be done without having first run the articulation. After doing so, you can run the articulation once again to check the outcome of adaptation. While working on the design of anterior teeth, you can use the same option as for posterior teeth, where movements will be guided by existing teeth. However, if you wish to use the design to create guidance for jaw movements, tick the Guide by Design option. Now, when you click the Run Articulation Play button, all movements will be guided by your design, instead of the occlusal surface of the scan. If the guiding contacts are too extensive, you can use the Cut Design button. It allows you to cut the design by setting the value of adjustment of the design, and therefore achieve the expected guidance. Just set the value of adjustment that can be anything between 0 and 1 mm. Be aware that the tool works by removing a set amount of material from the design. Adding more to the design is not possible when using this tool. When the changes have been applied, run the articulation once again to see the difference. Now you know how to use the Virtual Dynamic Articulator in Trios Design Studio. Thank you for watching.